welcome back to Vinny's Aquatics. Thank you guys. Thank you for joining me today. Now, we have an emergency kind of going on in our hobby. And I want to talk to every one of you about it. Let you know what's going on and what you can do to solve it. Do me a favor. Hit that like button. And if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Smash that notification bell. Alright, so what's really going on here? Now, I'll be honest with you guys. When I started my channel, I really didn't think I'd be talking about balls. But, here we are, 2021, and we gotta talk about balls. Now, we have a serious problem with our balls. Yes, ladies, even you guys. Now, it seems that a certain brand of moss balls have been infected or contaminated with a snail. Now, I'm going to be honest about this. I had no idea this was going on. I got a text the other morning from my buddy Dan. He goes, hey, Benny, did you see what's going on with these moss balls? And I said, no, I really didn't. He goes, well, go check out what's going on on Reddit. He sent me a link, so I went to Reddit. So, when I got to Reddit, and... You know, of course, it's the internet, so everything you find out right, it's true. I found a public service announcement talking to everybody who's purchased a moss ball in the last four months. Now, it says to all who've got moss ball and to all who've got moss ball, uh, whatever, I don't know who types these things, search your tank for invasive zebra mussels. If you find one, do not, and I say do not do a water change. Don't do anything that they can get into the pipe system. If you find them, call 1-877-786-7267. Now, I don't know where this is from, but this was on Reddit. So, we have a problem with invasive zebra mussels. Now, at the time I'm making this video, this has been reported in over 12 states. Okay, this is a major problem. This is an invasive species that takes over. Man, game over, man. It's game over. What are we gonna do now? What are we gonna do? Maybe we could build a fire, sing a couple of songs, huh? Why don't we try that? Hey, what do you do with an elephant with three balls? Well, of course, you walk him and you pitch to the kangaroo. So, I did a little investigating. And this is what one local game and fish department recommend for an affected aquarium. This is what you're supposed to do. Gotta listen to this. You're gonna bleach the tank waste. You're gonna bleach the tank waste water with one cup of bleach per gallon of water for 30 minutes before dumping down the drain. If you do jump untreated, unbleached water outside, make sure it's nowhere near drains, sewers, or any waterways. Zebra mussels can survive and run off for something like seven days. So a potted plant, a home garden, grassy fields, and even gravel areas are recommended. Now tanks that have been contaminated should be drained. All equipment should be sanitized in a bleach solution and all filter material, substrate, bleach, and allowed to dry for seven days. Oh my God, that's a horror. It's just a horror. It's extreme, but a lot of states are serious about keeping this invasive species out of the natural waterways. Now, like I said, this has been confirmed in at least 12 states. It appears that the contaminated Maramo balls were imported from the Ukraine and distributed to pet shops nationwide. So if you've gotten or purchased one of these moss balls in the last four months, you better listen up. And I'm going to tell you about these snails. Matter of fact, I have a special guest, National Geographic Mini. Yes, he's back. <laughs> a, a fan favorite. Let's see what he has to say about these snails. Ah, oh, thank you, Vinny. It's a pleasure to be here under such unfortunate circumstances. We have... What we're going to talk about today is the zebra mussel. The zebra mussel, although very small, a fingernail-sized mollusk, 
native to the Caspian Sea, region of Asia, they have three life stages, larval, juvenile, and the adult. In the larval stage, the mussels live freely in the water column where they can easily be transported. Adult zebra mussels can stay alive for several days outside of the water and commonly attached to boats, fishing equipment, and aquarium plants. In spite of their small size, zebra mussels clog pipelines used for water filtration, render beaches unusable, damage boats, and they also negatively impact aquatic ecosystems by harming the native organisms. Thank you, National Geographic Benny. Always a pleasure to have you on the program. Thank you for your valued information. I'll call you later on the phone. We'll talk about that thing. Now, it says it is paramount that anyone that has recently purchased Marimo moss balls considers that they are most likely contaminated and take the appropriate steps. The Pet Industry Joint Advisory Council has a website with detailed instructions for consumers who may not have to deal with this contaminated problem. Now listen, in some states, you may be required by law to report your discovery of zebra mussels in your moss balls or aquariums to your local Department of Natural Resources or other invasive species management agencies. So you got to check the state you live in. Jesus, these, these things are a friggin' joy. I mean, come on. You just wanted to put a moss ball in your friggin' aquarium, and now you got to deal with destroying the ecosystem? That's a lot of pressure. Now, the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service has set up an, a webpage in response to this problem. That's how widespread it is. And their mandate is strict. It says destroy these things. Destroy them. Don't dump them. Don't try to save them. Don't try to pretend they're your friends and put them in little outfits. Destroy these things, okay? So that's my warning and a heads up to you guys. If you purchased one of these Marimo moss balls in the last four months, or, you know, it could have been on the shelves a little bit longer, definitely inspect your tank. And if you have a problem with these, do not do water changes. Do not flush these things down your pipes because they're going to live and they're going to take over the ecosystem. And I think we've already done enough to destroy our ecosystems. So do me a favor, pass this around because these things are going like hotcakes as far as I know. And if you see them on shelves, if you see them at a PetSmart, if you see them at a Petco, find out what they're doing there because they're supposed to be off the shelves by now. Also, if you want to support the cause, go check out my merch, Vinny's Aquatics Merch at Teespring. Link in the description down below. That's my warning. I hope I helped you guys out. I hope I gave you a heads up to save somebody's aquarium because this is just messed up. All right, This is, this is going to be nationwide really soon, and I don't know what we're going to do about it. So leave a comment down below what you think. And thank you, guys. I'll see you next time on Vinny's aquatics. Woo!